Next, I'm going to demonstrate and discuss the open pipe. Here I have a diagram of an open pipe in which we have a vibrating source send longitudinal waves through this pipe, and those waves reflect and travel back and forth in such a way that we have an anti-node at either end and a node in the center with the fundamental frequency of resonance for the open pipe. That would correspond, for example, with this pipe here. We would have waves going back and forth through that pipe simultaneously, canceling out as they cross one another at the center point. So the center point is a node, and either end being open is, would correspond to an antinode. This shows a higher harmonic with an antinode in the center, an antinode at either end, and open pipes always have antinodes at either end for resonance, uh, with nodes in between each successive pair of antinodes. Now I'd like to demonstrate that with the aid of these pipes and some tuning forks to set up some vibrations in the pipes. Uh, here I have a tuning fork designed to resonate with a frequency of 426.6 cycles per second. And I'll demonstrate that. That resonates at 426.6, but does not resonate nearly as nicely with these other frequencies. 256. Now, on the other hand, this pipe is designed to resonate with a frequency of 256 cycles per second. Whereas the uh, 426 cycle pipe doesn't re resonate nearly as nicely. Resonance, non resonance. In order to have resonance, we have to have those wavelengths fit in, in there in such a way that we have a half wavelength from antinode to antinode or a quarter wavelength from antinode to node. So with a higher frequency, we have a shorter wavelength and we need a shorter length of pipe to resonate. However, we can get a long pipe to resonate with a higher frequency by going to a higher mode of vibration. Here, if we can uh, go to twice the frequency or half the wavelength, uh, this pipe is designed to to uh, resonate with a frequency of 256 cycles per second. Demonstrate that one more time, at 256. We can also have it resonate at twice the frequency, corresponding to this higher harmonic with a frequency of 512 cycles per second, which happens coincidentally to be uh, mus uh, middle C on our musical scale here in our laboratory. And it'll also resonate at a still higher frequency of 1,024 cycles per second. Open organ pipes. So we've been discussing uh, open pipes, and next I'd like to move to the closed pipe. Many musical instruments uh, work on the principle of the open pipe, such as uh, actual organ pipes, and uh, many wind instruments, such as saxophones and trombones and baritones and uh, tubas, etc. And uh, some musical instruments work on the basis of closed pipes. A closed pipe is closed on one end and open at the other end. We call it a closed pipe because it's closed on one end. With a closed pipe, we have a node at the closed end and an anti-node at the open end. And as the uh, vibrating source, whether it's a tuning fork or whatever it is, vibrates uh, so that it sends sound waves down, they reflect back so such a way that we have an anti-node at the open end and a node at the closed end. This shows the same instrument with a higher harmonic and a higher frequency and a shorter wavelength with an antinode at the open end, a node at the closed end with another antinode and node in the uh, central part of the pipe. Now I'd like to demonstrate the uh, closed pipe, uh, referring once again to the open pipe. Uh, this is designed to operate as an open pipe with a frequency of 426.6 cycles per second. And we see that uh, it, it resonates as an open pipe with that particular frequency. Now to make it into a closed pipe, I'm going to use this water column here. I just put the pipe down in the water so that where the water comes up in the pipe, that'll force a closed end at that particular point. We know that for an open pipe in the fundamental frequency, there's a node at the center and an anti-node at either end. For a closed pipe, 
we'll have a node at the closed end. And so if I put this in, assuming this is about 16 inches long, if I put it to a depth of about 8 inches, I should be able to pick up resonance with the same frequency, 426.6 cycles per second. Let's see how that works. So we see it resonates at that particular point at that frequency. Try a different frequency, 256. In order to get that to resonate, I, since it's a lower frequency, I need a longer length. So it resonates at that length. Uh, I'm guessing is maybe about... Uh, 12, 13 inches, and uh, we note that when uh, this particular frequency of 256 cycles per second works on this longer pipe here, which is about, uh, I'm guessing, about 26 inches long, it'll resonate as an open pipe. To make it resonate as a closed pipe, I need to bring the water level up uh, halfway into that pipe. and it now resonates with a frequency of 256 cycles per second as a closed pipe. Let me try that once more. So we get resonance right at that particular point when the water is at the halfway mark in the pipe. Closed pipes.